What's up guys, Mike here, the Detroit Borg, with a look at the Defender from Otterbox for the iPhone 5. Now, as you can see on the sticker on the front, they called it the new iPhone at the time. That's because they were a little premature on uh, introducing this product. They had this out before even the iPhone 5 was announced, so before they knew it was the iPhone 5, it was just the new iPhone, like the new iPad. So anyway, the Defender is the top end of Otterbox's case series. This is meant for maximum protection. That's meant to black out dust and dirt and gives you a lot of shock protection, including a holster. Now taking a quick look around the packaging, you kind of have this plastic packaging with this bow design along the side. You see the Defender Series along with a nice open crack here. I think you can thank Amazon for that. Uh, uh, but again, just a plastic case, nothing special here. You have a little metal handle up here to hold it or to carry it around, which kind of communicates the fact that this is sort of a rugged industrial case. Now up top you'll find a holographic seal, which is just an indication that this is an authentic OtterBox product. Uh, because there are a lot of counterfeits for these type of cases. So let's go ahead and pop this open and slide it out. So the case itself is already assembled, sitting in its holster. Down here is our literature. Uh, a lot of kind of advertising here telling us more about the outer box cases or defender cases and what you can do with it and the installation instructions and we're going to show you how to do that. So I'm just going to pop off the holster so you can see the holster here is actually rotate you can rotate the uh, uh, belt clip here so go to any position you want and uh, this just pops off you can see it kind of interfaces with these plastic pieces along the side. So now in order to install the iPhone you kind of have to peel this case back and I kind of have to use this rubber grip here to pull it off because I do not have fingernails to pry this open. So that kind of helps me out. You just peel this back. This is the primary layer on the top of the uh, hard case. And you can kind of see you have to peel back those uh, rubber pieces that interface with the ports. And there you go, pops right out. Now here we have the clamshell case with a built-in screen protector. Now I do advise to be careful, don't push on this because it's kind of easy to push through uh, before the iPhone is installed. And you can see that we have plenty of open ports here for the switches and ports. Uh, so let's go ahead and pry this open. You can see we have these arrows pointing to the uh, friction fittings here. So you just kind of snap them out of place and it should just pop open for you. There you go. So you can see inside that it's pretty much hard plastic that interfaces with the iPhone. Uh, also along the side here, except for the back, you can see the back has a nice pad here. Now, normally I would be concerned to have hard plastic next to the iPhone because if you get dirt and dust in there, it will grind against it. But because this case is so well sealed, you probably don't have to worry about that. You can also see we have this nice window here for allowing the Apple logo to shine through. Alright, so let's go ahead and install our iPhone. We're just going to install it, making sure that all the ports and buttons are in the right location. Drop the top cover piece in, snap it into place. Now as you can see the hard plastic case looks pretty rough until you put that rubber case around it. So we're going to want to tuck it in under that home button here. So you can see that home button, rubber home button protects the home button as well. Lines up with the ports along the bottom. You can see we have also these port protectors along the bottom and along the top as well. Just push it over the top and push it around the edges so it snaps into place. And you are good to go. So there is your Defender on your iPhone 5. So with the case on, we can take a look around. And as you can see, it adds quite a bit of bulk to the iPhone 5, especially the iPhone 5, which is very thin. So you can almost see it almost looks like two and a half iPhone 5s put together. Uh, but you can see it provides plenty of protection. There's a lot of shock protection here. You can really bang on it, and it's it, you feel pretty secure with that. Uh, so on the outside you can see that everything is covered including all the buttons so everything is sealed up. You can see we also have these flaps here for accessing things like the uh, mute switch here or the vibration switch uh, which makes it pretty hard to get at. There is plenty of room for my thumb to get in there but it is a tight squeeze. Now on the front you have this hard plastic surround which surrounds the screen and the screen protector. Now the screen protector does interfere slightly with the performance of the touchscreen, especially when you're typing, when you have a lot more gentle inputs you're doing. Uh, so it does kind of get in the way, but it's not a huge concern. It certainly provides a lot more protection than most screen protectors, which are usually much thinner. Up here we have an ample cutoff for the FaceTime camera, earpiece, and ambient light sensor, so it doesn't interfere with the performance of those things. You have a protector for the home switch or home button, which does feel a little mushy, you don't really feel the uh, click of the home button. On the bottom you have lots of protection here, but you have these permanent cutouts for the uh, speaker as well as the microphone and these flaps here for the lightning connector. Plenty of room there as well as the headphone jack. So there is also plenty of room there for installing most headphones. 
Now we also have our holster and you can install the phone in either direction so you can install it with the screen facing out or you can install it with the screen facing in. There you go. So you can see it works pretty well for either direction. Now you can position the holster clip in any direction you want so and you can see there's plenty of room here to open it to install it on your belt. Uh, it feels pretty solid, pretty rigid, you don't have to worry about this moving around on you. So the Defender is definitely for the extreme enthusiast, definitely for somebody who needs a lot of protection, who needs to seal their phone out from the environment, and who risks damaging it just by dropping it on the ground. Uh, so definitely a case for a certain type of user. It's probably not a case I'm going to be sporting. I don't particularly care for screen protectors because they interfere with the performance of the touchscreen. And I've never damaged or scratched any of these screens because they're pretty scratch resistant as they are. Uh, and I definitely don't work in tough environments and I don't do a lot of camping. So the out of taste is definitely for a certain type of person, but probably not for me. So that's going to do it for me, guys, in this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next one.